Hope you're watching Omni OX, and this video we're gonna talk about a drama. Unlike usually how I do drama reviews, I haven't watched that many episodes of this drama, and honestly, I cannot quite continue watching it. I briefly mentioned about it during the last weekend weekly video, Hidden Love. It is a 25 episode drama based on a novel written by the author Zhu Yi. She also wrote the drama I've recently just talked about, When I Fly Towards You. It's by the same author. Pretty legendary person because she kind of like got financial freedom before she is 20. This is not a normal review, so we're not gonna go to the uh, sort of normal structure. I'm just gonna talk. I watched two episodes of Hidden Love and it couldn't continue. My first doubt was, am I overreacting? So I talked to friends about this, people who've checked out these dramas. I'm like, isn't it just like really weird? They told me like, you know, like if you're interested, check out a little bit about the original novel. <laughs> That's like even worse and more shocking when I did see the particular words and languages and how the story is written. I know there are people in the comment section of my last weekend's video and mostly people are talking about like I'm overreacting and it's not the P word. So here is my argument about why I just cannot sit very comfortably with this drama overall and no matter how much people are trying to convince me that it's not, to me it has problems. This drama is about a young girl's love since she was young towards a guy. As she grows up, they finally get together. That's the story. Now, first point, I am in no way denying humans have feelings. Not just because you reach a legal age, you suddenly have it or not have it. I was eight when I first realized I am attracted to David Hasselhoff. Unbelievably, as a Chinese second grade student, there was a CCTV channel back then that import international television series into China and they would dub it in Chinese and they would air it at a very weird schedule. Somehow I caught Knight Rider and I fell in love with David Hasselhoff when I was eight. I remember still clearly for that period of time, my mind is saturated with his image. Like even during class breaks, I'd be daydreaming. And in a way, I think I love the car more than I love the guy. But anyway, it's my first strong memory of being attracted to male. What I'm saying is it's perfectly normal for a 13 year old, for a 10 year old, for an 8 year old to fall in love with somebody who's much older than them. I think the first moment that made me feel very weird was the first encounter of our female lead and our male lead. They picked a very young actress who's a very good actress, very pretty, and I think she acts so well, who runs up the stairs into the room. She thought she's meeting her brother who she hasn't seen for a while, but then it happens to be her brother's classmate, best buddy, male lead. The moment they meet, he turns around, she walks up and then she sees a person she doesn't know. What I have the biggest problem with that moment is the way it's done by the drama. Dramas have traditions and we've had decades of traditions of camera language, of how you film a scene and what your motivation or your goal is. And that whole sequence used every traditional, classic, not rocket science used in every other drama way of filming a romantic encounter. You have slow motion, you have backlit male lead, who's like angel shining light. Then you have the sparkling sound effect, ding, 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 starts happening, and then you have that music swelling. Then you hear the humming sound of a girl's voice, ha, 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 and you have the camera pushing on one, pushing on another person. It's that distant meeting. You will see in every, whether it's crappy or good, romantic dramas, whether it's periods or contemporary, if they just film this scene normally, without any of those sprinkled spices on top. If they just have a, like a white shot of the girl comes up and the guy turns around, oh, they see each other. There's no other romanticizing going on. Then it's a normal scene, but they didn't do it. They did it intentionally with all the baggages and histories and knowledges of visual storytelling. What I find is very disturbing is in the original novel, she's 13, he's 20 when they first met. In the drama version though, the girl that they picked to play this role is only 10 years old and she's supposed to be playing a 14 year old, okay, in a drama set. There's no way that she looks like a 14 year old. Clearly you see it's a very young girl and then Chen Zhuyuan, although he looks very young, okay, even younger than his actual age. Unfortunately, he's been around for some years. I've watched his previous dramas. He is about 25 when they filmed this drama. So, you know, you're seeing a very young girl and adult man. I cannot sit comfortably with it and think that it's just cute or okay or fine. I think it's inappropriate. They shouldn't have shot that scene that way. They shouldn't even pick this actress to do this role. A lot of the things that happen in this drama, whether it's with the young actress or Zhao Lu Si, I don't think it makes any realistic sense if it happens 
in real life. There's a scene where her brother, played by Ma Bo, Qian, is driving and she sits at the front, and our male lead is sitting on the back. This is when she's 17, and both guys are adults. She gets in the car, and Chen Zhou Yuan's role would lean forward and he would say why don't you why don't you say hi to me you know you, when you get in is it because i'm handsome good looking and you're shy why are you turning pink and red i'm like is that actually appropriate way of talking to somebody who is still a minor at the time right in front of her brother who is driving in this drama uh, whether it's with a young actress or with Zhao Lusi, Chen Zhe Yuan's role, is very much talking up to the girl all the time. He's approaching her all the time. He's engaging with her constantly. And with the particular lines and language that he's speaking, I've at least never heard, when I was a little girl, any older guys of similar age and probably relationship with me to talk to me like that. Now I'm an adult and I look at it, it's just really weird. The original novel is worse. It is very on the nose with the language. In the drama, they tuned it down a bit, but still constantly he would address her as kid, Xiaohar, call himself Gugu. I'm not saying grammatically it's wrong, whether it's in my own local dialect or in Mandarin. I've never heard a 20 or so year old would address a teenager girl constantly as himself Gugu and Xiaohar. Never heard in real life that people would be doing it. Occasionally for certain paragraph you're speaking or certain language, maybe you will use it, but it's used for a clear purpose. For example, I'm older than you, I'm your Gugu. You know, for this, I advise you, you probably should listen to me, kid. Now that kind of conversation makes sense, but constantly just talk about everything in self-referring Gugu and kid is very odd. I have never heard anybody doing that in my life, okay? Also in any other dramas, never have I seen, ever. And if you look at the original novel, it's worse. It has a lot of extremely, no matter what your age is, if somebody say that to you, you should get weirded out type of lines, such as open your mouth, Gugu will teach you how to kiss. Even if you're 18 and he's 28, or, <laughs> or you're 28 and he's 38, that line cannot sit normally with any human beings. It's and then you have other things in the original novel that I don't even want to read out because it's just so weird and they probably took it out in the drama adaptation process because they know it's definitely not going to go through censorship but just with what they have in this drama it's already weird enough after they switch the actress to Zhao Lusi for her to play the 17 year old I don't know if it's the director's requirement or like she how she interpret this character supposedly on page she's a very successful student she's very good at studying she's Xue Ba. That means at least you are quite clever in certain department of IQ testing. And usually very good students of high schools, they tend to also be favored by teachers, right, usually. And it's very rare that a very successful student who clearly also doesn't get bullied in her environment would act in such a timid way. She would act down her age a lot. I've never seen a 17 year old who is so immature. When I was 17 years old, many, many years ago, that was a society where there wasn't internet really that much. People are much less savvy with information and stuff. But even back then, I wouldn't really in any way speak, act in this very childlike way. I talk to this in this way and act in this way and very weak and mute and unsure of her bearings and always kind of like looking for support and help. The way she does it, I'm like, no need. And you know, 17 year old these days are pretty close to being full developed adults. And that just accentuates that weird relationship she has with the male lead. Now, the final thing I want to say is a drama like such, it airs, a lot of people will watch it, you cannot control who watches it. Chinese dramas don't have ratings in any form, so it's free access to everybody who has internet, who has Youku. I just feel it's not a very responsible action for a drama of a production company to make a drama that is like this, because it's going to be seen by very young people, maybe even younger than the characters in the drama. Because the drama drama very positively describe this whole relationship and it puts a very beautiful romantic lens on the whole story, it gives you that bubble of imagination for very young people who watch this stuff. It could implant this impression in them, although, you know, these days kids are very savvy too, but I'm just saying it's one extra thing that can add into their mind about very romanticized, idealized relationship between a very young person and a much older person. And say if one day they come across somebody in, in their life like that who is much older and 
in reality, not everybody comes into our life with a good intention. And unfortunately, if you look at statistics, a lot of those not so good things that happens in this world happens between people who know each other. They could be your relatives, distant relatives, neighbors, friends, friends, family, friends, because you don't have, or you are not right from the beginning having that protective armor around you and you know being very aware of there needs to be a distance things may be inappropriate if they're familiar people you drop your guard and then often bad things happen and statistics shows you that in this world so i don't think this type of drama should basically get made because even if there's a little bit chance of somebody who watches it and then sort of in some way would cause them to misjudge things in their own life in the future and actually eventually leads to something that's bad. You have to think about this type of social responsibilities when you make content like this. There are so many other novels you can pick, romantic stories, still these two actors. I mean, you don't even have to change actors. You can pair them up in any other type of romantic stories that's happening between two adults. And why this one? And why cast a 10 year old to play a 14 year old? And why use that very romantic camera language? If I were the producer or director on set, I'll never allow a scene to be filmed in that way. I would say this can get misinterpreted. Even if we don't mean it, it will look like that. Therefore, we should completely avoid doing it that way. Even for this type of story where underage person and an older person fall in love, it's always a tricky story to write. Web dramas in China is not somewhere you should be exploring the possibilities of very, let's say, experimental cinema. I feel that way, so I tell you, frankly, on camera, even though I know, like, in my comment sections, a lot of people are gonna jump out and saying I'm overreacting. This channel has seen many ups and downs since day one, and it's not like I haven't seen people trying to troll me like hell. It's just maybe another episode that's gonna show up, but it's not gonna stop me from honestly expressing what I think. If I don't make this video, it's fine. There's so many dramas going on and can completely avoid talking about that at all on my channel and then nothing related to that would, you know, show up in my life. But I just feel I have to say this, you know, like about my honest opinion about this drama. And really, I haven't seen another drama like this, at least in the six years or so of me making videos on this channel. Any similar dramas in the same kind that really gave me this very reaction. And for people who've been watching my videos for long enough, um, I just feel somehow I need to make this video at least let you know my honest opinion. And then if it makes you unhappy or feels uncomfortable, I mean, I've seen plenty of comments under my last week weekly video. Well, wish you all the best and you do you, I do me. That's it. Thank you for watching this a bit unusual uh, video access video on a rather unusual Chinese drama. I'll see you in my next video, I guess, if you're still here and live long and happy drama watching.